Welcome back to Ying Yang TK everyone and today we're going to be watching solo leveling episode 11. In the last episode Jin Wu was basically clearing up C rank dungeons all by himself but there was actually someone from the White Tiger Guild that was keeping a close eye on that that he was putting two and two together saying that Jin Wu had a reawakening or a second awakening. However Jin Wu basically said hey if you don't want to get hurt you're going to keep my second awakening a low profile. He wants to clear the dungeons all by himself because he wants to level up right but now he's actually going to take on a job changing quest what awaits on this secret quest well stick around and find out so he's in a forest somewhere this should be far enough away from civilization because you don't know what's going to happen would you like to accept the job changing quest in the past quest showed up after he passed level 40 in the last raid he's already run into two dungeons accessible to key but only quests have forced me to take me on immediately penalty or emergency ones the quests this however seems to be an optional quest and has been given time to decide so it has to assume that it's going to be difficult that's a logical assumption and it could even give him even more power and strength earning skills better suited for his job yeah he pressed yes wait whoa the animation of that opening of that dungeon top tier guys top tier wait did he forget to do his daily quest I guess he can do it when he comes back but something tells me that daily quest is going to come in and in that quest that he's going to go to i wonder what's waiting for him inside he's just going to go like a boss should be interesting wait what's that a throne <gasps> the guy that we've been waiting for hey someone's having some nice wine right there oh that's jin ho and that's the dad jin ho's dad yeah talk about trust fund kid <laughs> this guy is like rich crazy rich you can tell by the demeanor apologize for the delay jing's son who's that wait oh that's the big brother of jin ho he looks kind of conceited the dungeon seems surprisingly normal looks like a freaking huge typical like european dungeon he can't use potions or full recovery or a, or you have to leave until the quest is finished until the quest is finished <laughs> so you can't leave wait something's coming i can hear footsteps wait a knight an armor type beast and he's walking slowly and then jin Wu basically summon his little dagger let's see if it helps all right let's go slice him and dice him or did it no no effect whatsoever not even a scratch oh block missed passive skills what he's gonna do is that gonna be his what fatal strike he uses fatal strike no nothing nothing is happening at all in that night is not like holding back he's fought other enemies before but nothing like this oh he's gonna use his bare arms right there he's like literally getting the exterior oh literally separating head from armor and now it's defeated wow he actually wasted the fatal strike and he can't recover any mana either or heal damage but it's not like they care of course no there's more coming man that looks delicious jin who's not even like touching his food right now he's thinking about something so jin sung how are things going on with establishing the guild i've heard the s ranks you make offers all declined mingbyung yu cha ha in turned me down but that won't be an issue why I've got negotiations underway with European and Middle Eastern hunters. Hmm. They like to sign if we agree to their terms. It'd be similar to the case of hunter Huang Deng Su. Hunters from overseas, that's the answer that the brother has? 
Wait, he says, Junho, I know you've been working on something on your own in secret. Buying up rights to all these C-rank gates in order for you to establish your credentials. That's fine for your personal project, but... Don't you ever think about getting in my way. Oh, he's giving him a threat right there. But he doesn't want to do it. He doesn't know about the boss. He has no idea what kind of power he has inside. We're talking about Jin Woo, but look at the dad. He's kind of like intrigued about all this. Jin Woo is just literally just breaking him apart. Better catch his breath. No, wait. Something was about to attack him. Cell skill? You gotta deal with those types of beasts as well. Whoa, there is some magic. A mage? It uses light magic. Cell skill, light magic? What's going on here? The armor reminded me of Kasaka too. Like I'm revisiting my past battles as well. Who else? The quest is even tougher than imagined. Now you got knights, you got assassins, you got... Freaking archers? Each beast has a different weakness. Knights require strength. Assassin takes perception. Archers need agility. Without enough strength, the knights won't take damage. Oh, look. Without enough perception, the assassins can't be detected. The real issues are the mage. Yeah. They probably need intellect as a counter. But he hasn't invested in that stat yet. Because he doesn't have even enough mana yet. So he's conserving his skill, but he's getting tired right now. And his fatigue is climbing. It's going to 66 now. Wait, who's that? Oh, that has to be Mr. Choi, right? Yeah, Mr. Choi from the Hunter's Guild. Look at that. Ah. Everyone's here from that guild. Especially the solo leveling waifu. So what are they doing? They're getting ready for a raid or something? So he defeated every enemy there in that freaking hallway. He's actually happy that the beast dropped stuff like that. Wait. Oh, a chest plate. He hasn't actually experimented with any gear. Oh, look. Boots, gauntlets, and an armor. He actually was able to get all those things, but it turns invincible. He can actually move just quite fine. It doesn't restrict his movement. Invincible. Without a trace. You can tell his, you know, stuff has restored because every time he levels up, a little bit of his HP does get restored. With his fatigue recovered, he might as well move on to the next stage. Now there's like this huge door in front of him. But what now? It almost feels like he's going into the double dungeon again. Like how bad is it going to be on the other side? Well, I can give you a clue. It's going to be really bad. He has to press on and he's pressing on. So he's opening the door. Oh, and a huge gust of wind just came out. There's something about that gust that gave him the chills. Hey, it gave me the chills too. Because I have a feeling... We're about to see some greatness going on. So it looks like some sort of throne and all of the lights are lit up and the animation is great. Even the soundtrack too. Some kind of throne room. Oh, we know who that is. The red, the red freaking knight right there. The sight, these sounds, the way it feels, his entire body remembers. The pressure of the level of what it felt during the double dungeon. And look at that red knight. Ah! Oh, such exquisite. The intensity coming from this guy. The red knight commander, Ingrid's the blood red. The knight commander. And his name is on the red zone right now. He is, it's nothing like the enemies he fought before. A knight who defends an empty throne. Oh, and look at that huge sword. He's ready for that challenge. Are you ready, Jin Woo? It's going to be the toughest battle so far. Oh, so freaking fast. He literally slashed a freaking pillar like it was nothing, like paper or a branch. Oh, 
That hit got connected. Oh! The building blocks just shattered like Legos. And Jin Wu is on the defensive right now. He hasn't had a chance to catch his breath. He's able to move this quickly in that heavy armor. That guy is a beast. Let's go, Jin Wu. He's attacking, but Ingress is dodging everything like nothing. Nothing. All right, it hit him, but it didn't do anything. What else? Oh! He had to parry that. He needs to block that right now. Oh. So, Jin Wu saying like they're equal in speeds, but he's much more powerful though. It's because of that armor. My dagger isn't doing anything. Like, he can't do anything. His weapons are useless against that. But still, oh. I doubt I can win with a weapon, but now he's using his bronze. He's like, all right, I'm going to use hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's going to basically do the same thing like the armor. What is Ingress doing? Threw away his big sword, his daggers, and his cape? He's being chivalrous. He's like, all right, you want to go hand-to-hand? -hand? I can go it too. <laughs> oh, the chairman. Chairman Go. You still haven't gone home yet. He doesn't feel like calling it a day yet. I've been dealing with bits of work that's piled up. <laughs> Director Wu. Clearing some non-urgent stuff. So it's finally happening. Indeed. Oh, he's getting a phone call right now. Speak of the devil. I'm here. Are you heading out soon? Oh, that's Mr. Troy. He approved an operation. What operation? So he's like, no, no thanks necessary. It's all because you kept the Jeju Island name afloat in the interviews. And you're doing it on TV and in print. They kept the public consciousness and swaying their opinion. Okay. All I did was tip the scales. You don't expect criticism for kicking a hornet's nest? I'm prepared to take a brunt of that. Just be careful there. The Jeju Island is a dangerous business. And the, Mr. Choi is like, he knows. This expedition is about assessing their threat levels. We'll prod the enemy and see how, to what degree they respond. So they're thinking about how to respond. The third raid of Jeju Island, to me, that battle, re never really ended. So he's thinking about his friend that he lost. Now we're going back to Ingress and Jin Woo! Literally fast, even with all that stuff. And he is just tossing him like nothing. Oh, another freaking punch. But all that Jin Woo can do is just basically try to block those punches with his forearms. That's all he can do. And that wall, like nothing. That is real power right there. What are you going to do, Jin Woo? He blocked it. He took 500 HP. Look at the bruises. Look at the bruises. He made the right decision putting that armor there. He would take that fool. He would kill them. He would kill him right then and there. He could take that damage even without that sword. That's crazy. If I can't compete in terms of power, he's going to boost his speed. Dash skill. Let's see what he can do. Whoa. Okay, he's fast, but he he missed. Okay, that connected, but not as much. But no, Ingress is like literally not missing a beat. Oh, slight kick. Oh, another hit to Jin Wu. Willpower, the passive skill on his defense. Oh, he th threw a freaking huge rock. What kind of Naruto stuff is going on? <laughs> Literally, the animation to this fight is freaking awesome. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, back and forth. That is some freaking awesome fight right there. And, nope, stop. <laughs> oh, connected. It hit his neck. I don't think he's going to do anything. Nope. He's like, yep. Oh, <laughs> oh, Jin Woo just got literally an ass whooping right now. 
Oh, just rack tossing his ass left and right. Oh, dragging through the wall. Threw him on that wall. Right under that throne. Wow. That is crazy. Now Jin Wu is like literally exhausted. It's like, how can I fight this thing? Literally sitting on the throne. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. And Ingress hasn't even broken a sweat. He's just staring at him. I was like, is that all you got, bro? Is all you got? Oh, is that the sister? Oh, yeah, that is the sister. Oh, that's the little, your little sister. Oh, that's food for you. That's cute. From your little sister. And then I guess she's going to go back to studying. She doesn't even know what's going on with Jin Wu right now. And is this the hospital? Oh, that has to be the mom, right? Yeah, the mom. That's still under that eternal sleep disease. He's thinking about them right now. He can't die right now. <gasps> Wait. Is Ingress able to freaking summon his sword at will? Telekinesis? He's using telekinesis. Oh, Jin Wu, what are you going to do? Ingress is going to use his freaking sword. Oh, did it connect? No. Jin Wu actually blocked it with his hand. He hasn't. Lost yet. Oh. He meant. Oh. Okay, he summoned his freaking dagger. Oh, stabbed it in his eye. He's stabbed it in his eye right now. And Ingress doesn't even know what's going on. He's going to go freaking just a battle right now, like a street fight. He is, like, literally pushing him like a linebacker. Oh. And then Ingress takes that freaking dagger from the eye. The dagger didn't change to owner. Back to inventory. Then back into my hand. Oh, so he's using, like, the same trick. And now he's actually stabbing him from the freaking throat. Stab it deeper. He's, like, literally trying to get him. He's, like, literally just going through, like, freaking Super Saiyan levels. Bam! Hits him. An Ingress pushed to the limit. But did it work? Did it? It looks like it did. Literally stabbed his throat right then and there. He was going crazy. And I think that's it. Ingress is done. He won, right? We need to see if he won. Notification. You have defeated Ingress. That's right. That was a close one. But wait, something doesn't feel right. My winning was pretty much a fluke. In terms of skills, ability, and experience, there was a huge difference between every level. So even he knows that that was a fluke. One screw up and I'll probably would have died. Four rewards, huh? A leather pouch? The helmet that Ingress had? S rank item? That's not bad. And he's actually using it right now. A key for the demon castle. That's pretty cool. So he has that all that equipment in him. 20 point boost and strength and vitality. That's tasty. The ruler's hand, the runestone? What kind of skill is that? The ruler's hand, that might be like the telekinesis power. What about instant teleportation stone? It won't go into the inventory. But why the why did he give them to him right now? Is is the job change quest not over yet? So even though that would have been the boss, but no. Oh wait, something is sparking right now. Oh boy. Notification. Survive as long as possible. Enhancement points. What is a higher class? Good luck! He <laughs> said good luck right there. <laughs> Wow. Wait. He's facing infinite armors? Like the ones that you saw in the hallway? If they were strong as Ingress, I would have been overwhelmed in seconds. But these guys, I can handle them easily enough. There's an all lot of them, though. I don't know about that. Oh, he's about to fight. And then the Hunter's Guild is going to the helicopter. They're going to go to the Jeju Island? I can see a little bit of, you know, nervousness. Oh, he has to keep fighting, but they keep coming out. They keep pouring. 
Jin Wu is literally sweating right now. What can he do? Oh, he's using that skill, cell skill. It costs 200 mana to activate. Oh, no. But his MP is only 190 left. Wait. There's a mage. Oh! Oh, it broke his freaking stealth! They saw through the stealth. Oh, he's using that bloodlust right now. The murderous intent. It's worse than I thought. Stealth or murderous intent. He can't use it anymore. Oh, he got slash in the back. Oh. He's trying so hard. He How long has it been? Five minutes? Only five minutes. How long can he be? He's going to use the teleportation stone? No. Oh. What's going to happen? Oh! Oh, it hit him right in his arm. Oh. The stone. He lost the stone. Now it's against him and the armors all by himself. This looks bad. Oh, that's it. Oh, we got to wait until next week's episode. Oh, this is going to be good. Next episode, 12. Arise. Oh, this is it, bro. This is it. Oh, this is what we've been waiting for, that phrase. Arise. I am so excited for next week's episode. You have no idea, but this episode was just top tier. Ingress, that fight scene. Wow, it was just like a combination of all that. And they did not disappoint whatsoever. I'm so happy about that. But what about you guys? What did you guys think about today's solo leveling episode? Write your comments below. And if you like the content of this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification so you know when future videos are available. All right, everyone. I hope you have a happy solo leveling day. And I hope I join you next week to see that freaking awesome episode that we're going to see. All right, everyone. Stay awesome.